Hi, and welcome to another episode of Type With Me. In this episode, I will talk about conditional types within TypeScript. So conditional types let us express non-uniform type mappings. That is, type transformation that differs depending on a condition. So uh, something that you know from JavaScript is a fact that you have here uh, a conditional expression, right? So it's very easy uh, to interpret it as well. And one of the examples that we will find within uh, the TypeScript library, so in this case, lib ES5 is the non-nullable. So um, the non-nullable will pick never as a type when the type is null or undefined. Otherwise, it will just um, use the type, right? Another keyword that is important with this one is the in fear keyword, right? So for example, here first, we can um, <coughs> extend T from some kind of array. And then we say that when we have U, we return our first type in that array, right? And otherwise, we will just uh, return never. If you now take a look into some kind of example, how to use this? Well, we can very easily use this like that. We have some tuple type where we have a string, a number, and a boolean. And then we can say we want to have the first element type. First, some tuple type. If we then do let a equals first sum and we want it to be some tuple type you will see that first is a string right All right, so another great example is return type. So return type already exists within TypeScript, but it's a great example of how it uses conditional types and the infer of the infer uh, keyword, right? So here we can uh, provide uh, an arrow function. And so our type needs to extend of uh, an arrow function, in this case with some arguments and uh, it will infer r. And when that exists, we return r, otherwise we return any, right? So when we test this out, we can see that a, for example, returns or is a string in this case. Uh, here it is that one and here it will be a number so for example here we say type of math.random then we can see what return type is just number and then here the the same of type of array is array and which is in this case a boolean so another great example is, for example, extract. Also this one you can easily use. But again, it's nice to explain it a little bit to you. We can extract from this one um, those times that are assignable to you, right? So, so these are some examples of that. So for example, when we have, again, let well type A, you can very easily see that it's a string, right? Because when you have a union type here, so your type can be of string or string 
as nary and this one is nary so it will choose the array right same here or it's null or it's um, function it will choose function right same with c it will choose 200 right because here we have 200 and here we have 200 and then here we have with d never because it cannot extract uh, something out of that so it will choose never here right and of course you can do the opposite of uh, extract with exclude where you say t extends of u then you return never otherwise you return t right and in this case let's say we will have a which is string because it takes the opposite right here b to return no or never right and then here with C to return 400 and in D it will just return number Another type that's very uh, familiar with uh, uh, return type is parameters, right? But here we have the inferior within our arguments instead of uh, our return type. So the same can be done here then. You can just provide uh, parameters type of array dot is array and then you see which kind of uh, parameters that you need to provide uh, for that. So that's another example. It's always nice to, to know how conditional types work and how certain sugar within uh, the TypeScript language uh, works and can be used, right? So uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something uh, from it. And um, I hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching.